Hello all, this is Dave Olson from Lionel Engineering. Today I'm going to show you how to install and use our Lionel Lion Chief Android app that controls our new Lionel Lion Chief and Lion Chief Plus Bluetooth locomotives. So here I am at the home screen of my cell phone, which is an Android Galaxy S7 Edge. So what we're going to do is go into the Play Store here by pressing the Play Store icon. This will bring you to the home page of the Google Play Store. The search bar up at the top, we're going to type in Lionel Lion Chief. And conveniently enough, it's the first icon that pops up, so we're going to tap on that. And that will bring up the Lionel Lion Chief app homepage in the Google Store. So here you're going to type or uh, tap on the install button. Now it's a small app, so it should only take a few seconds to download and install. So we'll wait for that to happen. And there, it's already installed. Now before we open the app, we're going to bring down the phone's settings screen and tap on the Bluetooth icon to make sure Bluetooth is turned on. Now this will bring up the Bluetooth menu. You just want to click on the Done button and exit out of that. So now we can open up the app. I'm going to turn my phone sideways here. And the first time you install the app, it is going to ask to allow access to uh, the device location, device's location for the Lion Chief app. This will only happen the first time you install the app, and this is required basically because the app needs to use that part of the cell phone's computing ability. The app doesn't actually um, ever use your location. So tap on Allow, and now you have the app open. And so one thing I want to do before we connect to a locomotive is I want to show you how to enable the location settings just in case you accidentally press no or for some other reason that the location settings were not allowed for this app. So we're going to go back to the main screen of the cell phone and go into the settings menu. Now it's going to be div different per device but for the most part um, it's, it's usually the same on some phones, like here, it says apps. On other phones, it will say applications. It, it all just depends on what device it is, but for the most part, it, it is straightforward and the same across all platforms. So we're going to click on the apps icon here and go into application manager up at the top. Now we're going to scroll until we find the Lion Out Lion Chief app. Usually these are in alphabetical order, so it should be pretty simple to find. And there it is. It'll just say Lion Chief here. Now here we are at the application info page. So we're going to scroll down until we get to permissions. And you can see here that location permissions do show up. If we go into that, location is currently turned on for the Lion Chief permissions. So if it was turned off, you would see the icon looks like that. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it back on for mine just to make sure that we can go ahead and move forward with the uh, app and demonstrate how to connect to a locomotive. So now after that has been enabled, you can go back into the app. Okay, so now I'm going to actually show how to connect to an engine. For this demonstration, I'm going to be using the Penflyer 080 from the 2017 set. It is the first time that the Pen Flyer engine has had Bluetooth in it. So let's go ahead and power it up. Now that tweeting sound the engine is making is indicating to the user that the engine is looking for a connection. So what we're going to do is go into the engine selection menu by tapping on the 1234 um, button right where under where it says no connected locomotive. This brings us to the engine selection menu. Now here is where the app slightly differs from the Apple version of the app. In the Apple version of the app, it will find um, available engines automatically, whereas here in the Android version, we have this eyeglass symbol, and that is to make the phone look for available engines. Now you tap that, and if nothing appears, which sometimes does happen, oh, and there it goes, it appears. But if it did not appear, what you would do is exit out of the engine selection menu and then come back into it. But here, now that the engine appears, I can tap on that, and it highlights the engine, and it also gives um, a little bit of info about the engine. It says pen flyer with Bluetooth. 
6637 is the road number on the side of the cab, and it is an 080 steam locomotive. So once you tap on the icon, it highlights the engine with a white box with the red border, and then you're going to tap on the link button, so it looks like two chain links um, from a chain, and that is to connect your engine to your, your phone. It will take a, a few seconds to connect, and once it does, you'll hear the background sounds of the engine start to play. You tap on the X to exit the menu, and here, now you're connected to the engine. So you can see an image of the engine in the background at the top center, as well as the road number. And now you have access to all the um, buttons for the sounds, for the throttle, etc. So here, I'll play the whistle. And you can see that when you activate the buttons, uh, the button does turn blue to indicate that it has been activated. Now this is a Lion Chief engine, so it does not have electric couplers, so that is why the F and the R symbols are grayed out. If this is a Lion Chief Plus engine that does have electric couplers, those would be solid and you would be able to activate the electric couplers that way. The forward or reverse button here, currently forward is highlighted in blue. If you press on that, it turns to orange and says reverse, so this is your direction button for your locomotive. Um, for the sounds, go into the speaker looking um, icon and this brings up the different sound options you have. So starting at the top left, you can change the pitch of the horn or whistle. So that's allow you allows you to adjust it to your liking and you can do the same thing with the bell next to it. And those settings will keep um, for as long as you're using the app. And then you can adjust the individual sound levels, such as the horn's volume. Um, you can do the same for the bell, the same for the announcement, and the same for the background sounds. They all have their own sliders, so you can adjust the volume independently. Or if you just want to turn all of the volumes down, there is an overall or master volume slider here as well. So once you get the volume settings where you want, you can exit back to the main menu. And now you can press on the gear here to the right of the Lion Chief symbol, and that opens up some other options. Starting again at the top left, there is the smoke unit option. So when it is blue, that means the smoke unit is turned on. If you press that, it will turn orange, which means that the smoke is now turned off on the engine. I'll keep it on for demonstration purposes. And then the next uh, three buttons here, L, M, and H, low, medium, high for momentum. Now this is how quickly the engine responds to speed commands. And it always defaults to low here for the Lion Chief app. So if you want there to be a more prototypical delay to how quickly the engine either accelerates or decelerates, you can change it to medium or high per your liking. And then the last thing in this option menu is the speed limit. And it defaults to maximum but if you want a speed limit set on this locomotive only while the app is being used, you can roll, uh, roll it down like that and the engine will never go faster than what you set it to. And those are the basics of the app. Okay, so the last thing I want to cover, just so that you know exactly what happens, is what settings are retained and what settings are not retained when you're switching between the Lion Chief app and the remote that comes with the engine or the universal remote. So the first thing I'm going to go over is the sounds. So let's go back into the sound menu. Now when you change any of the settings here and then um, you know save the settings from here and then you say you switch to the hardware remote, the, the remote that either came with the engine or the universal remote, these settings will be retained in the memory of the engine. So if the volume of the horn, for example, is turned all the way down, but you still have volume all the way up for the bell, announcements, and background sound, that volume will be retained and will be reflected so in the hardware remote. So if you wanted to readjust the sounds, you'd have to come back into the app and um, reset the sounds to the level you want. So now that covers sounds, if we go into the options menu, or the settings menu, um, the smoke on off is the same way. That is retained when you go to the hardware remote for, after 
um, either turning it on or off from the app. Now these two, momentum and speed limit, are not retained. So if you change the momentum on the app or you adjust the speed limit, those will not be seen when you use the hardware remote. The momentum um, and speed limit cannot be set from the hardware remote and will always operate the same. Okay, so this completes the how-to video for the Android Lion Chief app from Lionel. Hopefully some of the tips in this video have helped you uh, figure out how to use the app and troubleshoot any problems you may come across. We do plan on doing updates for this app from time to time. We uh, have to do an update every time we do a new catalog because we have to add in the engine images and text. And we also are cons uh, consistently um, doing bug updates and uh, improving the app for different phones, different devices. So, uh, yeah, always look out for an update to this app. And um, thank you again for choosing Lionel. We really appreciate you.